What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of laser engraving on some slate. Uh, I've just received an order from my number one fan, Charlie, my next door neighbour. Uh, she's a little boy that lives next door and he watches all of my videos, so thanks Charlie. I'm going to be testing two different methods for the slate. One is going to be treated and one's going to be untreated. Uh, I do prefer the treated method because you get a lot more contrast on the slate. The way I treat it is a mix of 50-50 linseed oil and white spirits and then you just let this dry completely before taking it anywhere near your laser because that will just end in a bad day. So I've got a cloth, I've got some solution here made up, mixed up, ready to go. You only need a tiny bit and I mean the tiniest little bit. It goes a long way. I'm going to move this one out of the way. Bring this one in. This mix goes a long, long way. So you get it everywhere. No cracks in the sides. Fold it across the other way to a dry part and then just wipe off all the excess. I just use a cheap microfiber cloth for this, it's brilliant, none of the fibers come out and uh, it just spreads really easy, really, really evenly and in a really good finish. Let's get that excess from behind there as well. We'll look at these side by side now again. As you see, it's already a fair bit darker. Okay, so we're all good laser. I've got everything aligned. I've got the design ready to go in K40 Whisperer, and I'm going to get it set to go. Uh, the power settings and speed settings I've got uh, around 10% power. I, I'm still using the pop dial with some little marks on which I use. I need to upgrade that to a digital one so I can give you a more precise setting of what I've got. It's roughly around 20%. Uh, and I'm going to be rastering at 300 millimeters a second. Let's go. Okay, that one's done, and I realised how bad that angle was. I'm going to change the angle before I do the other one, so you can actually get to see something. Let's get this engraving done, and we'll compare the two afterwards. Let's go and get them over to where well, I've actually got a tripod set up and um, I can actually get a decent picture and we'll compare the two. Alright, so they're both engraved now and as you can see, one is much clearer than the other one. This is the one that's got the coating on, this is the one without and this is actually definitely the one that I prefer. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of a shine to that and there's not really any shine to that one. You will get fingerprints on there, greasy fingers, uh, brew things, but on this one you get nothing, nothing at all. Uh, it stays completely like that, it's wiped clean. And this is how I do all of my coasters. As you can see, you get a lot of detail in there, it looks great, nice and shiny. So if you're going to do coasters and uh, slate products, use a, a mix of half and half white spirits and then seed oil. Get a quick wipe over. So I hope you like the video guys. This is 
just a, a quick one to how I finish my coasters and how you get them to look great with good contrast and the best results that you can get on slate with a laser. So if this helps, thumbs up, subscribe and leave me a comment. Cheers. Thank you.